finishing that something was pulling me okay so i've been away for a very long time so to see my dad and my uncle in the front row of the audience was 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 mind-blowing i was like my god what are they doing here now obviously they had recognized my voice and they turned around and they looked as shocked as I was. Why was it that the three of us were there? Okay, they were having their experiences that had led them here. I was having my kind of experiences. Um, yeah, I never joined the dots up that led me here. Thereafter, uh, being encouraged, really warmly being encouraged by um, dear old Dorothy, um, I sat in the um, development circle um, and I sat in there on Monday evenings. Now I can remember at the time I carried um, a journal, um, a little notebook and Dorothy encouraged me, you know, scribble down what, whatever it is you, you sense, whatever it is you feel. Um, and I didn't even know why I was doing this at this time, but you know what? It absolutely made sense to me. There was something about it that completely made sense to me. And I'd scribble down um, names and, and things that I would feel, and, and, and then you would share it. And, and kind of oddly and strangely, back then, a lot of what I was sharing completely made sense. But I was, I was kind of wandering through this without any understanding of why now this is really the impart interesting part of the story that joins up after all these years and I was really blessed at that time to kind of be sitting um, alongside of the likes of Mad Summerfield um, I come across um, people like Adrian Brown um, Peter Richards um, God bless Colin Fry, who I really, really looked up to. There was something very gentle, very compassionate about Colin Fry. So, you know, I kind of was was kind of rubbing shoulders, um, and these were the people that were influencing me, as well as their dear old Dorothy. Um, I will always remember her. So, Godspeed, Dorothy, and thank you for for that moment, um, inviting me and making me so very welcome, um, because that was the turning point that, that changed everything for me and I sat in um, her circle um, had one of the most actually profoundest teachers um, in her and in spirit um, now what was really really interesting was I used to write things down I repeatedly I'd write the name Lucy 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 in my journal but one particular night I remember this I just used to go round to the end of the street and there used to be tucked around along the side there used to be a little fish bar there and I'd get myself fish and chips and then I'd come into circle you know it was a very exciting time and this particular evening all the way walking up to um, 10 New Street through Bridge Spiritualist Church and Psychic Centre is I had a feeling of really being watched and I mean I felt really uncomfortable there was a an edgy feeling to it and whenever I closed my eyes I would feel screaming. I'd feel this young girl screaming and it was terrifying. It actually made me feel really frightened. Um, I was in my early 20s, really frightened to close my eyes. I couldn't understand it. Now, I didn't tell anybody. And this experience went on, went on. Whenever I kind of was quiet or whenever I closed my eyes or whenever I was on my own, I could sense it almost around me. Um, and this went on. Now, I went up to East Croydon one particular afternoon um, and I used to go to the markets up there, you know, and have a wander around and kind of make an afternoon of it. Um, and one particular afternoon, I found myself outside the library and again, this gravitating kind of magnetic pull into the library. So I go in. I'm a couple of floors up and I find the psychic new age uh, book section and it was absolutely huge but what was interesting was that there was this book hanging off the shelf and as I approached it it actually fell off the shelf and there I opened up I looked at it was a chapter on psychic protection how to open and close down and I thought gosh it's like reading it I thought maybe this is what I need 
how strange, you know. Um, so I got the lady downstairs to photocopy it, went back home, um, and I'd done the exercise to close down. It just felt instinctively right, you know. And I was physically sick. Um, and that's no joke, I felt physically sick and I was physically sick and I slept something like 14 hours. Now the thing is with that, I think those of us that are hugely sensitive, we become like sponges, we absorb what we come into contact with. And actually sometimes we can be carrying so much that isn't our own. Um, and, and you know one of the most important things I ever learned at this time was how to switch this off, how to close down, how to kind of in a way energetically protect myself and I slept those 14 hours, I woke up and the first time in weeks it was quiet, there was a stillness, there was a peace and I really was you know I was really thinking you know what's going on, am I going kind of crazy I and mean, there was a immense quiet and immense peace and this little voice said to me now you know the importance of closing down you know so my experience is the lessons that I've had I feel very blessed that they've been direct teachings from spirit themselves you know that was fundamental um, and I proceeded to sit within circle for not much longer thereafter but it was the doorway and the threshold that changed so much for me. You know, I I um, really honour and really appreciate and really thank the likes of Dorothy who run that circle um, and for all the years um, that I would find myself kind of drifting back towards 10 New Street, you know, and, and, and another kind of lovely little kind of um, part of this is that at different times in my life, um, where I'd find that I would kind of be at a place where I, I think I may need some guidance. I would find myself going back and sitting there within the audience and as time went by people got to know who I was because of the nature of what I've gone on to do um, and you know I felt really honoured there were times where I actually stood and worked alongside the likes of Madge and, and, and Peter Richards and Adrian Brown um, and they were just kind of experiences that these guys were were people that I really looked up to and they were a generation of mediums that were really into developing the younger generation so I was, I was really really blessed to kind of be able to kind of have those experiences um, sit and listen to those guys and, and, and then, then finally work alongside them um, you know uh, bless Colin Fry is no longer with us in that sense um, same with uh, Peter Richards um, you know but they were amazing people and Adrian Brown um, and Madge um, and um, yeah fan fantastic fantastic but some of some of kind of w what happened was that you know I went 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 all on and I went forwards um, and I would go, I'd find myself going back, you know, at times where I needed that guidance or kind of that kind of clarity. And I'd sit in the audience and, and it would always be a medium then that I never come across and never knew. And I always thought that was fascinating and uh, deliver all the messages. And then I'd either be the last or second to last and they would come over to me and they would describe my mum to a T that I knew exactly, yes, you're talking to my mum, that's validated and that's confirmed. And then they would turn around and say to me, you know exactly what to do. And I'd think, ah, no, I well, don't, because if I did, I wouldn't be sitting here. You know, they have taught me in ways that at times were really, really frustrating. You know, you pull your hair out and think, if I knew what to do, then I wouldn't be here. But actually, you know, it made me kind of, go inwardly it made me ask myself it would made me seek the answers from within um and i would not change that for the world you know and it, it taught me how to navigate life and 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 listen and trust my own inner compass and i think there's something very very special about that now